I used artificial intelligence to create a Fire Emblem game. I let it decide everything from the story, the characters, their stats and skills, the maps, objectives, and even the enemy placement, and the results were pretty interesting to say the least. For this experiment, I used ChatGPT4 and asked it a bunch of questions. I then took the answers it gave me and used Fire Emblem Builder to create whatever the AI came up with. To start things off, I asked it to create a title and a basic intro for my game. It came up with Fire Emblem Shadows of Etheria. It generated five continents based on the elements. Terra, Aqua, Ignis, Ventus, and Aether. It also created a short backstory of an empire which used to rule over all the elements, but had an emperor who attempted to harvest the power of the Aether Stones, which backfired, causing a calamity known as the Great Divide, which made the elemental countries split up and form their own kingdoms. For a long time, these kingdoms have coexisted peacefully, but now a mysterious group known as the Eclipse are attempting to reunite Etheria to plunge it into chaos. Not sure how that works, but hey, they gotta be the bad guys, I suppose. The story is going to follow a prince from the kingdom of Terra as he fights against the Eclipse and try to prevent them from taking over the world. With the title and backstory established, I then asked ChatGPT to generate me a protagonist, and it came up with Leoran, a 19-year-old prince from the Kingdom of Terra. It gave him a description, a personality, and even generated base stats and growth rates, and even a personal skill. Using the description ChatGPT came up with, I passed the information on to my friend Clockinator, who fed it into another AI program which is able to generate GBA-style portraits, and this is what it came up with. Far from perfect, but the technology is still in its early stages. Give it a few months or maybe a year, and I fully expect it to be able to generate portraits on par with the best spriters in the community. This portrait still needed to be shrunk down to its proper dimensions, and I had to ask a friend of mine with some help in cleaning it up, but I still like how it came out. With that done, all I needed to do now was to copy-paste all the information ChatGPT has fed me into Fire Emblem Builder, and it resulted in a character that looks like this. Here he is, the protagonist of our game, Prince Leoran. He is a Terra Knight, a unique class ChatGPT made up for him, a sword-wielding infantry class who also fights with anima magic. ChatGPT also gave him these growth rates. Kinda disappointing that he only has a 10% magic growth despite being a dual physical magic class, but hey, no one ever claimed ChatGPT would actually be good at Fire Emblem. It also generated a pretty interesting personal skill for him, which I was able to replicate in-game. It's essentially just a weaker version of Rally Defense, but it's still pretty cool. Even more interestingly though, ChatGPT created a personal weapon for Leoran, a tome called Aether's Whisper, anima magic that has a chance to heal him whenever he attacks, and it's also strong and deals effective damage against dark magic users. With our protagonist done, I next asked ChatGPT to create the starting squad of Chapter 1, and it created four characters. Elara the Pegasus Knight, Bram the Fighter, Isolde the Cleric, and Leaf the Myrmidon. Most of these units are pretty generic variants of archetypical characters, which is pretty expected, but it also generated some pretty wild personal skills for them, like Isolde's Guardian Shield, which is pretty bonkers. And even more hilariously, it literally generated a skill for Leaf the Myrmidon, which is just Gale Force. Yeah, it literally just put Gale Force on my Myrmidon. Next up, it was time to create the first chapter. ChatGPT obviously cannot create maps, but luckily there's a brand new map generator program available to Fire Emblem Builder, which literally AI generates maps for you. So I simply asked ChatGPT to tell me what kind of map it wanted for the first chapter, and it decided that it wanted a 12-turn defense chapter taking place inside a castle. So that's what I did. I used the program to randomly generate a castle map, and as you can see, the program is still far from perfect and requires you to fill in some blank spots, but after just a small bit of correction, the map came out looking pretty good. Now, seeing as I used a different program, ChatGPT obviously doesn't know what the map looks like. So what I did was I just explained to it in as much detail as I could what the map looked like. And then I asked it to just place enemy units. I first tried to make it input coordinates, but it kept placing enemies inside walls, so I instead settled on just asking it to place them in general locations. And it actually took the assignment really well. It understood pretty well that for a defense map, the players should start grouped up inside the castle, maybe somewhere in the center, and that there should be enemies spread all over the map. It even told me to put a thief close to the treasure chamber going for the chest, which is pretty damn impressive. 
It also told me that it wanted the player to have a chance to end the defense chapter early by killing the boss. So naturally, next up, we had to generate the boss of the chapter. And it came up with this guy, Sir Dagon, a cavalier from Ignis. He actually came out looking like a real badass. Even more impressive is how ChatGPT actually created bodyguards for the boss by placing them around him with stationary AI, making it more difficult for the player to end the chapter early. Then all I had to do was ask it to create reinforcements for the 12 turns, and I was really impressed with how it spread the units out from various directions, and also the squads it created. It even offered to drop some equipment for my party, which shows that it has some decent knowledge on Fire Emblem map design. And so, after just about an hour or so of work, ChatGPT had successfully created our very first Fire Emblem chapter, Dawn of Unity, a 12-turn castle defense map which can also be ended early by killing the boss. I had it write up a short introduction as well as some conversations between the players, and a few other things like boss quotes and death quotes. And with that, let's actually jump into the game and play the very first chapter to see if it's any good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the first chapter of AI Generated Emblem, Dawn of Unity. Let's take a look at this uh, introduction the AI wrote. As dawn breaks over the horizon, the once tranquil Ethorian castle now finds itself under the shadow of the Eclipse's forces. Young Lord Leoran, heir to the Ethoria legacy, must rally his companions and defend his homeland's heart. In the echoing halls, the distant thunder of boots grows louder. The battle for Ethoria begins here. Mm -mm. So the AI generated portraits don't have mouth and eye frames. I probably could have asked someone to add them, but I didn't want it to look too professional. There's also some blatant perspective issues here, but uh, let's just see what kind of dialogue the AI wrote up between these characters, shall we? The Eclipse's banner is on our doorstep. I never thought they'd make a move so brazenly. The winds whispered of their movements, but I too underestimated their audacity. We must defend this castle, Leoran. <laughs> Look how tiny he is compared to Leoran. Let him come. These walls have stood for centuries, and I've got a few swing left. War is never a welcome sight, but we have no choice. I'll ensure we stay hale and hardy through the fight. Just please try not to overextend yourself. They may outnumber us, but we have the home advantage. Every corridor and parapet is known to us. True, Leaf, but we mustn't be complacent. We must use our knowledge, our strength, and most importantly, our unity. This is our home, and we will not let it fall. I've spotted a few choke points we can use to our advantage, and maybe some spots for a good old ambush. Remember, the healing arts I wield can only do so much. We need to strategize and ensure minimum harm comes to us all. Your counsel is wise, Isolde. Everyone, to your positions! Alara, scout the skies. Bram, Leaf, prepare the front lines. We will endure this onslaught and see a new day for Ethoria! Alright, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first map of AI-generated emblem, and I will say, I don't think it's a terrible first map. I mean, it's a little basic, but it's a defense map. Twelve turns. There's some enemies, there's a thief going for the treasure chests, and of course there is a boss over here. Let's start by taking a look at the main character, shall we? So here we have uh, the main lord. I love how he is a sword-locked infantry class with five con. Really, really well done there, AI. Uh, he does have a, a, a tome, though, and he can use anima magic, and this is actually a pretty cool personal tome. There's no dark mages on this map, I'm pretty sure, but it's still pretty cool that you have a tome that deals effective damage to them. Uh, e rank in, uh, in swords and anima, like a true Fire Emblem protagonist. 10% um, magic growth, which, uh, okay. His other growths are pretty good, though, I will add. And uh, he does have a kind of a mini rally defense as a personal skill, which I think is kind of cool. Um, we have a Pegasus Knight, a Lara. Oh, I forgot to read their descriptions. Let me do that. A young Terra Knight of Athoria, determined to unite the fractured land against the looming shadow. Okay, cool. So we have this Pegasus Knight here, Pegasus Knight of the Terra Kingdom. Her serene de demeanor belies a fierce determination. Close friends with Leoran. Okay, so she's Sheeta, basically. So here we have a Pegasus Knight with five con. Lovely. At least she has a 40% strength quote, so that's nice. The AI didn't completely shaft her. Uh, she has a really bad personal skill, though. Wind's Grace, it's basically outdoor fighter without the hits. So she gets 10 avoid whenever she's outdoors. So that's not even going to help her in this battle. And of course, she comes with a Slim Lance, because what else would you put in a Pegasus Knight? So a pretty bad character. I'd say she's probably the worst of the AI-generated characters. But, you know, I appreciate the effort. And we have Bram. 
A fighter from the Terra outskirts uses his immense strength to protect those in need. Enjoys a good laugh. I do like this guy. He's pretty cool. 12 con is nice too. Uh, let's take a look at his growth rates. So he has... Uh, he's kind of slow. But man, 50% defense growth. He's really tanky. That's, that's actually really cool. And his personal skill is called Heavy Swing. If Bram has more con than his opponent, deals 4 extra damage but lose 2 attack speed. It's not a bad skill, honestly. You just gotta be very careful that it doesn't get him doubled. And with 12 con, he will be bigger than most opponents he goes up against. And he starts with a hand axe, which I actually appreciate. That is actually pretty cool. Uh, then we have our healer, a sold uh, devoted priestess of Athoria. Her healing abilities are a beacon of hope, holds a mysterious past. And she has a busted personal skill in Guardian Shield. Basically grants four extra defense and resistance to adjacent target. This is a really, really solid skill. In terms of growth rates, really good magic, very low defense, uh, but decent growth rates in all other areas, actually. It's a pretty good unit. She, I don't know why the AI gave her a torch staff, but she has one. Won't really be useful in this map, though. And then, of course, we may have the, the most busted unit of all of them. Lee, from Myrmidon Healing from the Highlands, seek to prove himself and harbors a personal vendetta <laughs> against the Eclipse. I think there was supposed to be an A there, my bad. I think I may have copy-pasted it wrongly. So, uh, yeah, he has, and he's a Myrmidon. So, wow, actually really good growth rates on this guy. 50 strength, 60 skill, 60 speed, 70 HP. Actually not bad, but the AI gave him Gale Force, which is just ridiculous. I mean, this is by far the best unit out of, out of the four starting units. No argument at all. So I am playing this on hard mode, so the enemies will get a slight bonus, but the map looks pretty basic. There's not a lot of enemies here. Here's the boss, by the way. Sir Dagon, elite cavalier of Ignis, fiercely devoted to his kingdom. His honor blinds him to the truth. So he's pretty scary, has a steel lance, no droppables on him though, but if you kill him, the map will end. And he has a personal skill too, Infernal Command. If Sir Dragon is within two tiles of an ally, that ally receives plus four strength. So he's drive strength, basically. So, um, can... I don't think he moves, and I don't think any of his units around him move either. So, yeah, I did import custom animations for Leoran. He basically has an Ephraim animation. Uh, Nameless X made this. Oh, that's a crit, okay. Kinda cool. <laughs> I was kinda I was gonna try and proc Gale Force with the Myrmidon, but I guess I guess that won't be necessary. Um, yeah, so I'll put uh, I'll put Leaf here. And then I'll make sure I'll keep uh, keep the priestess like this. So here we go. On turn one, we're gonna have some speech from the villain here. Men of the Eclipse, before you stand the mighty Athorian castle. For too long it has been a thorn in our side, a beacon of resistance. Today we extinguish its light. I like the lines it wrote for him, it's pretty badass. So here we go, you can uh, you can see that personal skill kicking in. Give him an extra defense, that's nice. So we got two soldiers, they move off the bat, but it seems the archers are actually stationary. So they actually won't move, they're just there to prevent you from trying and intercepting the thief. So he's gonna go towards that door and try to get it. So I think what we'll do here is we will... Uh, let's use the fighter to pull the soldiers, most likely. Alright, he won't completely kill her, but this is fine. So there we go. And, uh, let's, let's proc Gale Force. Let's see if it works. So, we'll attack him, like so. And, uh, that should give Leaf an additional turn. That is so busted. My goodness, that is so busted. I did, the only thing, uh, I did have Nameless X make, pal make palette for these guys, so there is no, like, automated palette generator yet. I could have just not given them a palette, but I figured, you know, why not? It looks cool. So, uh, I guess we could do a rally now. Yeah, let's do a rally. There we go. Two defense for everyone. I'm guessing we should probably stay back, though. We'll let the soldiers charge us. So, yeah, look at that. Now we take no damage. And will Bram double? Yes, because, of course, Sacred Stone soldiers are pretty damn bad. And these are base Sacred Stone's enemies. So it's a very, very basic chapter. It reminds me a little bit of, like, a generic hack you could find on Serenus Forest back in, like, 2010. Like, minus the skills, of course, which would not be present at that point, but... It does, it does seem like a very generic hack that could have been made many years ago. Alright, we got reinforcements coming in as well. So, I do believe that if we want to catch that thief, we have to start moving up. So, I'm gonna send uh, Leoran over here with this tome. And, uh, this Cavalier actually has a sword. 
So that's gonna be that that means it's gonna be a bit tricky to, to just send Bram up here. But I can still try. So uh, I guess what I could do is if I if I put Bram right here, then we can put is sold right here and put Leaf here to give the to give the boosts. Yeah, I think that works. So let's just find a safe spot to put Alara. Wow, our Pegasus Knight is completely useless. And yeah, I am digging the skill that Isolde has. It is extremely powerful. Oh, I should have put a Hand Axe on Ram, actually, because now the Archer's gonna hit him. So, my units are pretty weak. I mean, they're not dealing a lot of damage here, as you can see. And, uh-oh. Oh my god, wait, 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 did I just lose my healer? <laughs> I just lost... <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! May the gods watch over you. Keep the light alive. Oh my goodness! I just lost my healer. <laughs> I guess I guess AI generated fire emblem is too hard for me. Oh wow! Okay. All right. We gotta we gotta try and fight a little bit more smart now. I guess. I guess going for the thief is not an option anymore. Maybe I should try and kill the boss. Oh my goodness, uh, this is actually really bad, what the hell? Wow. Okay, I take back what I said, this is actually kind of difficult. Okay, I think if I use my Mermaid on here... I don't know why Leoran has a different battle theme compared to everyone else. It's kinda, I guess it kinda, because it's the main character I suppose? Alright, so I can use Gale Force right here to get an extra attack. Uh, I don't know if this is doable without a healer, you guys. It may not be. Hit points, luck and defense, lovely. Just what I wanted for my Myrmidon. Okay, so I can't kill this guy, but I can kill him with Ram. And then we'll see who the other guy goes for. So we'll attack here with the Iron Axe. Like so? Okay. And that should be a level up. Let's see what Bram gets on his first level up. Strength, I imagine. Hit points, strength, skill, defense, and resistance. Lovely. Alright, let's see what they do. Mm -mm. Alright, I'm gonna have to rely on my vulneraries now. And I don't think I have that many vulneraries. Actually, do I have any vulneraries on me at all? I'm not sure, actually. This is, this is gonna be tricky, guys. <laughs> This is gonna be a very difficult defense chapter. I don't know if I can beat it. I have no idea if I can beat it, you guys. But I'm being lucky, which is nice. Alright, here comes the Cavalier. Okay, very nice dodge just from Alara here. And she's actually doubling, which I appreciate. I guess the Slim Lance was a good choice on her. With the Iron Lash, she wouldn't have doubled anything. Ah, okay. There we go, Leaf takes some damage here. Alright, the Thief is going for the Elfire. Elfire is nice, but I, I, I don't really get to use it, so... I mean, it's a c rank Tome, so I guess I should could just let... And this guy actually drops a fire, interestingly enough. Alright, so, uh... Let's see. Uh, if I go for the Fighter, that's not a lot of damage. I do want to proc my Gale Force, though. So I think I'm going to attack here. Now, Aethor's... What?! You gotta be shitting me. Now, Aethor's Whisper... Okay, do, do any of us... Okay, so he actually does have a Lunarary. Oh, I should have attacked first. That was stupid. Yeah, I should have attacked first. But, you know what? It's it's fine. It's it's okay. So, uh... But yeah, the, the Aethor's Tome has a chance to proc soul, basically. So it's like a skill percent chance to heal. But uh, well, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep fighting here. Let's see if I can. I mean, it's an AI generated fire emblem chapter. It should be doable, right? All right, let's see what happens. So they're gonna shoot on Leaf. I don't think the fighter kills Leaf. He does nine damage to him. So we'll see what happens here. Bram is, uh, uh, is he gonna get doubled? No, okay, so even with the minus two speed, he's not getting doubled by the Cavalier, which is nice. Okay, I don't want Leaf to kill here, so do not crit or double, please. Okay, very good, so what I can do now is I can I can kill the fighter, proc Gale Force, 
Okay, mage is coming in now. More soldiers. This is actually pretty intense. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna kill that fighter and proc my guild force. Like so. Keep in mind, I do also have the personal skill for my lord. So I could proc that. Alright, an iron axe. I mean, I don't really need it, but sure, thanks. Okay, so what I need to do now is... Let's see, Bram can probably... Yeah, Bram can kill this guy, which is nice. And then I think with the combination of uh, my Lord and the Pegasus Knight can probably kill the Cavalier, if I hit, that is. So let's see if I can do this. But I, maybe I actually... Okay, I can actually use the sword to kill the Archer. That might be better. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. So here we go, we got the Ephraim sword animation. It's a very long sword, yes. Let's see, do we still double this guy? We do, but it's not quite enough to kill. I'm gonna check the Myrmidon's hit rate and see if he can hit. If not, I might just drink a Bonerari instead to stay safe. So, I think I will do that. Uh, 99 hit, that'll be fine. Hey, he even gets a crit. If you look at that. What a busted unit. Alright, almost a level up for Leaf. Alright, some more soldiers are coming our way. We'll need Bram for those. A mage is coming. Yeah, the thief is running away at this point. And more reinforcements. So, uh, we got... We got the cavalier. Uh, we got the soldiers. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm probably just gonna rally, I think. Give some defense. Move Leaf up here. I'm running low on vulnerabilities, which is not good. I don't think I have that many. Okay, there are actually a few vulnerabilities left, so that's, that's good. Uh, I think what I will do is I will trade. Let's see, what do we have here? We have a Myrmidon. So if I, if I fly up here, and I, I'll trade the vulnerability over to Bram. I'll place myself in range of the Myrmidon right so. And then I'll put him down here with an Iron Axe. And I think he should be able to kill both of the soldiers on enemy face. He does have plus two defense. So it's a highly basic map. But it's actually pretty challenging. I mean, at least without a healer it is. <laughs> so this is... This is not terrible. Kick points, magic, skill, speed, luck. Very good level up for our Pegasus Knight right here. And yeah, very nice. The uh, rally defense is going to reduce a lot of the damage that Bram takes on this uh, on this face. The cavalier will still hurt him a little bit, but that's fine. Maybe we should try and pull the boss. He seems like a tough cookie. I don't know if we should, but I could try. I could try pulling him on like the very last turn or something. Hit points, skill, and speed. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with that. Getting skill on my fighter is pretty nice. All right, here we go. Please hit. Ah. Okay, we're gonna have to use our lord now. God, I wish I had a like a rapier or something. That would actually be really nice. Okay, the thief is gone, and more enemies are coming. I think we're actually gonna have to pull back now. I don't think we can deal with that many units without healing. So, I'm just gonna use uh, Aether's Whisper right here and see if we can get a kill. But yeah, I think it's it's probably time to pull back. I think. Seven damage, that's terrible. Can I kill the mage and run? No, I cannot. Um, Alright, I'm gonna try a hand axe. Okay, this is very good. I might be able to kill with my Myrmidon now. I'm gonna try the hand axe, and then we'll see what happens. Oh, he lacks one damage, are you shitting me? One da- oh my goodness, are you serious right now? Oh, <laughs> Oh, if only I had my healer still. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's move down here with Leaf. Get the kill on Proc Gale Force. Or, sorry, Duelist's Blow or whatever it's called. Da 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 da. Hit points, skill, speed, luck, and resistance. Let's go. There we go, and do we want to go in range of- Oh, I'm going to lose my Pegasus Knight. I'm going to lose my Pegasus Knight, ladies and gentlemen, this is bad. Unless she has to rest to, to deal with it. 
another mage just shows up. I think I might be able to tank this, maybe? Oh, he actually blocked the mage. That's actually really good. Yeah, I think what we'll do here... Okay, if I can hit this guy with the hand axe, that would be insane. I don't think I will. Oh, epic! That's actually really good. Now, if I can... I don't think I'll be able to kill the fighter. I would be very surprised if I did. Yeah, that won't work. But I can still try, I guess. I have the rally defense. No! Oh no, this is bad. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose... Probably gonna lose some units now. Oh boy. Um... Should I use the Vulnerary? Do I have any more Vulnerarys? I am so low on Vulnerarys right now, you guys. Maybe I should just sack my Pegasus Knight? I think that might be the only thing I can do in this situation. Yep, it's the only thing I can do in this situation. Let's sack the Pegasus Knight. We got three more turns left to live. <laughs> no, Alara! The winds grow cold. May they carry my spirit to a peaceful rest. Oh no. All right, here comes the mage. Okay, very nice. Very nice dodge from Leaf right here. And here comes an archer. Oh, look at these dodges. Leaf is being the MVP right here. This is great. Okay, even, okay. Oh boy, things are getting very, very dicey right now. This is, this is not, this is not okay. Um, all right, we'll use a hand axe to, oh, okay. You know what? This is fine. I can I can proc a gale for self that guy. Yeah, I can proc a gale for self that guy, and then I can send in uh, Leaf, maybe to go for the mage. We'll see. There we go. And then I'll yeah, I actually know what I'll do. I'll attack with uh, Leaf like this, and then I'll come in and use my tome. Oh, actually no, never mind. I just used a rally. I'm so dumb. It's okay though. I will sur no, never mind. I didn't use a rally. I don't know why I thought I did. Still haven't procced this tome a single time. Not that I need to. But, uh... Alright, first Lord level up. Hit point, strength, skill, and resistance. Not bad at all. Alright, this is a nasty group, though. Two Cavaliers are charging at me right here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to deal with this. Let's see if we can. All right, mage coming in, fighter from the left-hand side, with a droppable steel axe. I actually kind of want that. I like how the AI is like putting droppable items on a late-game reinforcements to actually incentivize you to get it. That's, if that is intended, then that's actually a really cool design. So, uh, Aether's Whisper is a animatome, so it is neutral against other animatomes, but it would be weak against light magic. So I do need to be careful about that. But yeah, if I send Leaf like this, I should be able to kill the mage, proc a Gale Force, and then move towards the fighter. So there we go. Another Myrmidon level up. Let's see what he gets. Hit points, strength, skill, speed, luck, and resistance. Let's go! Let's go! Alright, and then we gotta put we don't wanna put him in range here. That's really bad. Let's put him here. Oh, we only have 10 health left. But you know what? It's fine. It is fine. Uh, these two Cavaliers, they have both swords and lances. So now the AI is bringing in some more harder hitting units. This means that I am going to get Weapon Triangled, but I still think I'll, I'll survive this. I don't think I'll see combat against the boss though, which is sad because I had the AI, I had the AI generate like boss quotes for him and everything. Okay. Really base leaf, one-shotting the fighter with a crit. And that gives us a steel axe as well, which is very nice. And, uh, yeah, these guys are gonna... These guys, oh my goodness, the crit patch kicking in. That's what you love to see, let's go! Skill, luck, and defense. Okay, I'm okay with this. I am absolutely okay with this. All right, there we go, Bram. I gotta say, I like all of the playable units so far, except for the Pegasus Knight, she sucks. But all the playable units actually feel kind of good to use. 
I am impressed by the gameplay that the AI was able to decide. To design. Alright, I think we- okay, so we were on the last turn right now. So I say, we tried to pull the boss with the fighter. Just see- see what happens. See if- see if we can see the battle combo. I mean, I'm probably gonna lose a bunch of units anyway, so why not? Uh, do I still have a Vulnerary left? I do. I'm gonna pull the boss and let's see what happens. I wanna at least see his battle point. I don't know if the boss moves first, but I guess we'll, we'll just have to see. Alright, now would be a really cool time to proc the tome and heal yourself later on, I'm just saying. It would be kinda cool if you could do that. Alright, will the boss move? It, I don't know if the boss moves first or not. I guess we'll find out. So, so far, I don't think there's been a single javelin on any of these enemies so far, which I kinda like. Alright, here he comes. You dare challenge the might of the Eclipse? You're but a lamb to the slaughter! Oh, nice! Good dodge. So he's not, he's not super hard to beat. You could probably pull him really early on and end the map if you wanted to, but you would lose out on some experience if you did. So let's see, let's see what happens now. Uh, Ram might die. Actually, Ram is really tanky. I think he'll be okay. This is a solid fighter. Good job, AI, you generated a good fighter. Of course, he'll take some damage from this mage, but Secret Stone's mages aren't very scary, as you can see right here. Their, their stats are kinda bad. All right, here we go. This is but a minor setback. The sun may shine on Athoria today, but shadows have a way of creeping back. We will return stronger and more determined. Athoria's end is inevitable. Uh, the day is ours, but at what cost? The walls of Athoria have witnessed too much bloodshed. It was a necessary defense, Leoran. Leoran, they would have shown no mercy had they breached our walls. Those Eclipse cowards, they'll think twice before tangling with us again. Many were injured, but with my healing they will recover. Still, we must remain vigilant, this may only be the beginning. Their retreat seemed hurried, as if they've received orders to regroup somewhere. We should scout the region. Agreed. We've defended our home today, but the Eclipse's ambitions are vast. We need to prepare for what's to come. There are old allies to the north and west. Perhaps it's time to rekindle old bonds and form a united front. A wise suggestion. We'll need all the help we can get. But for now, let's tend to our wounded and mourn our fallen. Athoria still stands, and we have shown that we will fight for its future. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, um... Yeah, uh, obviously there's nothing... Pa uh, past this point, but I will I will release this ROM publicly on the Hacking Archive if you want to try it out. And um, here's the thing that I think is kind of interesting: the AI will remember everything about this hack because I have a subscription to ChatGPT4. So theoretically, if I ask it to keep making chapters, it will form somewhat of a cohesive plot. It will remember the characters, their motivations. It will remember the villains and the story. So, in theory, I could generate a whole Fire Emblem ROM hack off this, and part of me is wondering, like, where the AI would take the story, if it would be able to produce anything of note, or if it would just produce garbage. I will say, so far, I am actually pretty impressed. Like, it was a very basic chapter, nothing groundbreaking, but... Like, if I had found this hack back in, on Serenus Forest, like in 2010, 2011, I'd been like, I'd been like, okay, that's a pretty cool hack. <laughs> so, uh, if you want me to continue this, if you want me to keep generating chapters and see where it goes, just leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know if you thought this was an interesting project. My name is Sun Mengs, and uh, I shall see you guys next time. Bye bye.